Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name is Chris Coverage. I'm the editor with My Security Media and Australia in Space magazine. Today we're joined by Peter Nikoloff, who's the Executive Director with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation. Peter, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Chris. I'm looking forward to another good chat with you. Absolutely. And this is in lead up. We're only maybe about four weeks, less than four weeks away from the 17th Australian Space Forum in Adelaide, 24 to 25th of July. Uh, let's have a quick chat about the program, two-day program for the first time for the Australian Space Forum. Yeah, exactly. So day one is uh, typically a plenary. So we'll have some big high-profile speakers. We're actually very well supported. We've got the um, uh, Minister for Space and Defence from the New Zealand coming over this time. Great. It's very exciting. So we'll have Minister Mulligan from uh, the South Australian Government and uh, Ed Husick from the federal government, the head of uh, industry and space. So we've actually got a very good, um, I guess, support from government, both state, federal and international. So we're super excited about that. Um, we also have on that first day uh, a message from Pam Melroy from the from the US. So Pam is now second in charge of NASA. Deputy and she's always had a, yeah, a strong place in her heart uh, for Australia and making sure we're, we're moving uh, moving ahead in the space sector. So that's going to be very exciting as well. Um, day one, we've also got an international panel. We've got people from the International Space University, um, the chief uh, chief technologist, the astronaut from Axiom Space. They're, they're, they're going to be very big in, in low Earth orbit in a few years to come. The Defence Innovation Unit uh, heading over, they are really... Um, supportive of our, our industry as well. Um, they've been funding various technologies which will be important to all of us. Um, so they'll be involved as well. And the Exploration Company, another big, big organisation that's going to play a big part in low Earth orbit in the future. So we've got some amazing presenters um, for our, our just our first day. Well, it was looking very strong. Uh, it was Judith Co uh, Collins, KC Minister for Space with New Zealand. Uh, so that's exactly. really good to see. And I think... Uh, uh, given that Ed Husick is there, it gives an opportunity for Australia and New Zealand at a federal level uh, to be uh, contemplating how important space is. Uh, and I think that's the key message uh, that I'm hearing right now is uh, to make sure that uh, government is across how dependent we are on space systems and space technology. Um, the other one is I just got uh, sent the yesterday or a uh, couple of days ago the floor plan. You've got some 70 exhibitors uh, there. Uh, so I think there's a lot to see on the show floor as well. There is. No, we've typically got the biggest um, exhibitor floor in, in the country and a lot of activity happens there. A lot of people network and build relationships there. So we're very proud of our, our exhibitor floor. We've also got our four-metre diameter moon hanging up in the exhibitor floor space again, which is very exciting. And so that really links into some of the presentations on the second day. Um, so on the second day, we'll certainly have the two competing rover teams that the, for the um, NASA Artemis rover, which the agency has, has planned. So Arose and ELO2, they'll both be on site in the exhibitor hall, which is uh, fantastic to see that this technology is going to be out there soon. I take it you don't have them next to each other. You might have them on opposite sides of the room. I, I wanted to put them next to each other, but Darcy, our, <laughs> our executive officer, yeah, warm you get said, I like having a bit of fun, get a bit of um, rivalry happening. But no, no, they'll, they, they actually, yeah, they talk to each other. So it's, not course, yeah, but it, it's just they're, they're getting to the heart of the competition right now uh, in terms of what they're doing. And I think uh, we'll highlight uh, your supporting partners, Governor of South Australia, South Australian Space Industry Centre and the Australian Space Ag Agency. Uh, with your platinum sponsor, AMDA. Uh, we're pleased to be media partners again. But again, I think uh, there'll be too many sponsors actually to list off here, but uh, we'll have uh, the links into the show notes as well. Um, with four weeks to go, uh, everything's lined up for you. And what would be your key call to action? Uh, early bird is gone. Yeah, no, definitely come along. We've got a, a fantastic program, an order of magnitude more more um, presenters than last year, um, some very high profile presenters. Um, so definitely come on. But the other important thing that we're, we're doing is running our um, space passport program. So 
the Andy Thomas Space Foundation being a, a space education program trying to encourage the next generation of scientists and engineers and technologists uh, into um, the universities and, and uh, technology uh, institutes. Um, we, we run typically dozens and dozens of school children through the exhibit hall and the exhibitors have a chance to talk to them about future careers and some of the exciting work we're doing. So that's that's really a big one for us. Um, so we're, we're super, super excited. They'll have the, one of their showcases as well um, in a separate room where we'll judge a whole bunch of the um, the projects they've been doing and uh, ultimately uh, hopefully get them to the Space Discovery Centre at, at a various awards, awards sessions. Um, uh, the other exciting thing for, for the forum, we, we do have the dinner on the, um, the the night before, on the 23rd, we have our big gala dinner, and we've, we're we very happy to have a very special guest. So we've got um, retired Lieutenant General Larry James uh, from the US Air Force. He, um, in his last, uh, I guess, decade of his career, he was actually the Deputy Director of the Jet, the famous Jet Propulsion Laboratory that um, everyone sees all their, their spacecraft going to Mars and going to the outer planets. Um, so he'll be a speaker at the dinner. So that'll be very exciting. And just to let people know, we've actually got him moving to, he's moved to Australia now. Correct. So he'll be supporting the Smart Satellite Cooperative Research Centre and also Monash Uni. So I think that'll be a real privilege to actually get to meet him uh, at the gala dinner. I had the opportunity of interviewing him uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, as well, but uh, absolutely. And I suppose uh, another highlight for you, you've got the Australian astronaut, Catherine Vanell Pegg, uh, attending also. So again, you, you mentioned on the kids aspect, uh, to have uh, the Australian astronaut there is quite special. Yeah. So we'll actually have two astronauts in, in town for this particular one. So Axiom Space has got a retired astronaut from the JAXA yeah, Japanese Kuzma space Wakata. agency. Yeah. yeah. Right. So he's he's also very passionate about uh, exciting kids and people into into the space technology. So having Catherine and uh, those uh, Kuchi Wakata there is is a, a, a fantastic kill as well. And I think a lot of people really enjoy um, seeing the, the the drive and and the, the ambitions of some of the people that have become astronauts and often their role models. Absolutely. Well, look, uh, it's the 17th Australian Space Forum, 24 to the uh, 25th uh, of July in Adelaide in South Australia. Uh, make sure you get a, uh, get along, uh, at least check out the program, and that'll be uh, inspiration enough uh, to book your tickets. Uh, but Peter Nikoloff, Executive Director with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation, thank you very much for joining us today on Australian Space TV. Not a problem. I'm looking forward to a huge crowd. We always seem to be one of the biggest in the country.